So we're going to be shooting at 100 yards with the Triarc 13.9 Recce Rifle. So anyways, we're going to be taking this Triarc 13.9 Recce Rifle, testing it with some 275 grain loads, 255 grain loads. Uh, one of the 75s is a Reman ammo through Stan 1 Armory, which is my stuff of choice right now in terms of bulk ammo for the price. Um, the other one's going to be some Hornady uh, Black 75 grain boat tail hollow point. And then we're going to shoot some Monarch brass case, 55 grain, just some cheap shit, as well as uh, get some M M193 5.56 from Winchester white box. What's the other one? I want to say it's another Hornady. It's Hornady Frontier, 55 grain, 5.56. We're going to see how that goes. All right, so far, so this is a Stanwood Army. just shot five rounds of that. Hornady Black, so one malfunction on that one. It was a bad round, that was for sure. I tossed it over here anyways. But so far, the Hornady Black looked like it was doing pretty good, and so the Stan 1 Army. Both Hornady Bullets, both tail hollow points, 75 grain. XM193, or uh, M193, my bad. Might have did all right. Probably try the Frontier next. Let's check it out. <laughs> Went from the Monarch, 55 grain, to the M193, 556, 55 grain. Then we shot Hornady Black, five rounds, two of them touching. I mean, that's <laughs> that's really good. And then this is a Hornady Bullet from Stan 1 Army, some Reman ammo. Really good as well. Overall, I'm pleased. Well, let's build our dope cards. Are right, you at the track 39? See what it does. So far this gun just, it, it really likes 75, 77 grain. I need to try the Federal Metal Gold Match, Sierra Match Kings. See how those do. So right now I'm, I'm under an inch all day. Uh, I would like to improve that though. Who knows though, I might end up throwing a uh, Throwing the red dot and magnifier back on here because with unless I swap out the scope because this EOTech scope, even though it's nice and compact, it um what am I looking for? It uh went blank. Oh, the matter of case starts at five. I do that I want to be at like at least 2.5, 2 to 2.5, maybe three magnification. And I want shorter dials so I can run the 12 o'clock on this badger mount because I have the adapter for the acro. Uh, I might even throw my T2 on here. I just can't with this mount. I mean, uh, with this scope because the turns are so tall. Make a slight adjustment for that 55 grain, for that 25. Hold half a mil again at 200. Alright, so 
Hungry Hunter, we're going to mill it a half with the Hornady Black 75 boat tail hull point. We'll go 2.5 at 400. Second time I got failure to feed. It's smushing the bullet in. It could be this mag though. Because I've had problems with it in the past, but. Okay, 400, 2.5 mils. Left edge. We'll go 3.5 at 500. I really hope y'all can see this. We're gonna hold right edge. The wind switched down there based off the flag. Target and a half low. I'm gonna hold four and a half mils. I think we jumped quite a bit. Got about a mil of wind, so I'm gonna hold four and a half, one mil left edge. Yeah, so it's like about four and a quarter to four and a half mils at 500. Uh, we had about a mil of wind, give or take. Right, four more rounds, Let's see if we can get on at, four, or at 500. No, wait, that was 500, 600, my bad. Actually reset this dial and I'm gonna dial it in because I'm pretty sure it's 5.5 to 5.8 mils. Super, super easy to just at least this top one. Side when you gotta get the cap in or a coin or something kind of twisted. Super easy. left edge of the target. There's about an 18 inch steel gong down there. <laughs> Where's that? All right. Let me go 5.8 mils because that one was, a, it was bottom left edge of the target. So it's about a about three quarters of a mil. 